Tonner Elliott, RanchOut.com. Hope everybody's doing very well. Today, I want to talk to you about a Stag Arms AR-15 chambered in 5.56. First thing I want to show you, as always, there's no magazine in the rifle. The bolt is locked to the rear. The chamber is clear, so we know this firearm is safe to talk about. I got this AR from Stag. Um, it's been almost three months, not quite. And over those past three months, I've actually managed to get about 500 rounds of ammunition through the gun downrange without any kind of problems or failures, as well as not only myself, but several of my friends have had the opportunity to run a mag or two through this rifle just to see how it does and see what everybody thought. I'm out with my friends Rick and Derek. Y'all have seen these guys before in a lot of my videos. They're good enough to come out and help me, you know, do these testings and all that sort of stuff, and I really appreciate it. So I got them out here. We've been running a few mags through this Stag Arms AR-15 556. Rick, what'd you think about it? I love it. Okay. I love it. It's great. And the ergonomics of the grip for me, thumb over board. Right, right. It's beautiful. You like the way that's set up? Yeah, this thing, I love the grips on this too. So everything about this was, was great. Riding it high. Yeah, yeah. You know, adjustable stock, all that. That's how I ride all ARs. Sure. Um, watching all you guys shoot it, it's flat man i'm flat, telling flat, you flat, flat, flat. you know and they are running a mid-length gas system which does help and that comp and the way their rifle set up you know i'm really digging it so far Derek, you know a thing or two about an ar brother what do you think about it first of all love the magpul furniture i just i just love magpul and it is just so smooth the trigger is beautiful and just like they said you shoot this and it's just straight back no rise and it's 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 a it's it's beautiful it's beautiful I, I like it probably halfway through the review maybe a little bit better i did manage to get this out to the mud hole and throw it in this creek let it get good and nice and grimy and then took it out and actually dumped a 40 round mag through the gun right out of the mud hole and didn't have any problems this is a stag arms 40 round magazine i run it through this gun as well as a couple other ars the mag didn't give any problems the only thing about it is when you load 40 rounds in this mag full and then you try to lock it into the rifle with a closed bolt, it's really, really tough. So a lot of times what I would do is just put 39 in it and that made it lock it into the gun a whole lot easier because you're not having to compress that spring even more. Look y'all, there's, there, I mean, there is a plethora of AR-15 manufacturers out there, a lot of which make good rifles, some and some don't, you know, let's just be straight. Let's go over it from back to front. It does have this, it's a mag pool six position collapsible stock you can go over and see that it is dressed up with some magpul furniture something that i haven't had a lot of experience with is this magpul handguard but i actually after running it i i liked it a whole lot it actually it did a really good job for you know what it was supposed to do is acting as a heat shield but also right here it's got a little like a finger catch so if you're running a really aggressive grip on it you can you can lock it in pretty good that does got some m lock slots as you would expect it does have a rail along the top and the gas block has a little rail on it if you want to mount a front sight the one drawback though is so the way this handguard is cut you've actually got to mount the front sight backwards if you don't it will not lay all the way down it actually this part of the handguard will interfere with the sight and not let you collapse it it didn't hurt anything it, it looks a little funky you know what it collapsed like that but uh certainly didn't change the zero we did take it out to 100 yards and shot a pretty good cross section of what's readily available in the commercial market today in 223 and 556 when i shot it for groups uh i did mount a scope on it i got a right on test scope that we used a while back that i've used on a lot of other test guns and so i mounted on this zeroed it and then took it out to 100 yards and shot some groups with it and basically i would call this an moa gun price wise msrp is a little over 800 bucks so that is not a bad deal i feel like at this price point you're getting more rifle than you're paying for um and i'm, I'm not biased towards stack like i said i don't have a lot of experience with them so i'm being completely honest with y'all moa accuracy the trigger pull was better than a standard rat grade trigger it's got no take up brakes pretty clean at six and a half pounds with some over travel so i look at this ar as a solid rifle pull it out of the box install the included mag pull flip up sights on it and run it and you'll be fine with that for sure when and if you decide to upgrade anything it's a pretty good solid platform to begin a build off of so it's something to consider it could serve several different purposes now i am a huge fan of the ar-15 i feel like not only does it serve very well as home defense self-defense 
the way this gun is set up, I think it would do really well in any kind of three gun match or, or rifle match for that matter. And the reason being, it is a mid length gas system, which is actually gonna help you mitigate some of that recoil. Coupled that with, we already talked about the Magpul handguard with this finger lock and this really effective stag arms muzzle brake. Now understand this, it doesn't do anything for flash suppression and it's pretty brutal if you're standing anywhere near perpendicular to the muzzle. And I realize you're not going to be standing down range, but I mean even people beside you on the firing line. Understand you are going to have to give up a few things in order to gain the benefit of that break, but in my opinion, well worth it. It's a stainless steel 5.56 NATO spec chamber with a 1 in 9 twist. The castle nut that holds the buttstock on is staked. You can see included on this back plate here is the ability to attach a sling. Let's take it down, take a look inside of it and see what we can see. Something that you really want to look for and pay special attention to to any AR-15 is how is this gas key staked down? Look at this one. Um, it's actually not bad. It's got some pretty good dimpled areas there on those straighted fasteners. So I would say that's that's a pretty good, what I'm used to seeing, steak job. Bore a uh, tool here, get this firing pin and the actual bolt. Uh, the bolt face looks good. Doesn't seem to be any chips or breaks or, or cracks. Now understand, I, I realize 500 rounds of ammunition downrange isn't a tremendous amount. But in my opinion, if there was something wrong with the gun, it would definitely show up in 500 rounds. And the fact that I didn't get any kind of failures and everything looks to be pretty good would lead me to believe this is a pretty decent quality rifle, to be honest with you, and it's a pretty good price point. All right, bolts back together. And these lube. One thing else to look forward to, when you set this down, if you set your bolt carrier group down on the bolt face and it collapses, then you know that you've got a problem with your, your gas rings. But this one here, if I can balance it, get your mouth right, Hunter. You see there, so in 500 rounds, I wouldn't expect there to be any problems, and there aren't any. So uh, I do want to give a shout out to my friends at Defender Ammunition out of North Carolina because they were gracious enough to donate the vast majority of test ammo that I ran through this rifle as well as what we shot some groups with. I've been using Defender ammunition for a long time on a lot of my reviews, handgun and rifle. And it's actually really good quality ammunition that's inexpensive. Stag Arms is also the only AR-15 manufacturer that I'm aware of that builds a true left hand AR. So y'all, that's really about it. I really appreciate you taking time to watch the video, read the article. Let me know what you think, good, bad, right, or wrong. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, the whole nine yards as far as social media goes. So reach out to me let me know what you think. If you've got any questions about the rifle that I didn't cover in the video, as always, there will be an article on rangehot.com that accompanies the video that covers a lot more of the technical specifications, as well as there's a chart on there that shows how it shot out to 100 yards with optics, group size, and all that. So if you got any questions on that, jump over to rangehot.com. Please read the article. If that didn't do it for you, then reach out to me. Let me know. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. So y'all be safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I look forward to seeing you at the range.